name's Matt Young, and I do vocals in King Parrot. And uh, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Thanks for coming. Great interview. I'll talk to you next time. Yeah, yeah, that was good, man. It's great to talk to you. <laughs> <laughs> How you doing today, brother? Uh, I'm all right, man. I'm all right. Uh, yeah, doing okay. How are you? Yeah, good, mate. Good. Halfway through a tour, getting around Australia on someone else's dime, so I'm loving it. Man, what else? What, what more can you ask for? Um, an Essendon victory every now and then, but, you know. You that, that, would that would be good. That would be helpful. Yeah, that was a heartbreaker last night, right? <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> just going to be right out of the way. <laughs> sorry, bro. Sorry. Well, I, hey, I wasn't giving you shit. I was. It was a heartbreaker. It was an absolute Mate, heartbreaker. Yeah, that was a backhanded, tongue-in-cheek. Fuck you. Thank you. No, it wasn't at all, man. It wasn't. No, I'm, tr- I'm trying not to do that too much because I don't have much of a leg to stand on, considering I'm a Carlton supporter. So I'm just trying to be. You know, yeah. Anyway. Know that, anyway, let's not talk about football, huh? We'll call that an honourable draw anyway, man. <laughs> uh, so on to the music side of things, mate. Like, there, there's a heap of exciting things happening in the King Barron camp in the near future, bro. But we'll start with yeah. the most media, which is your upcoming run of shows, dubbed USA or Bust, which starts in Ballarat next Friday. We'll go yep. through Long, Frankston, Adelaide, Melbourne, Sydney and Newcastle, finishing in Wollongong on August the 6th. But... It's quite noticeable Brisbane is on there, mate. What's going on? Uh, well, we just played in Brisbane not long ago. We uh, we played up there, uh, I think it was in March, or I think it was in March. Yeah, and we had that new, the new venue, Bad Luck, open. And um, and they uh, they got in touch and asked us if we can come and play that first week. So we uh, we did that. We did Brisbane and uh, and we did a show down at Moe's, which I think I saw you at. Um, and... Uh, yeah, so we did Brisbane recently, so we thought, oh, I'll sleep Brisbane off for this one, and, uh, and we'll, uh, yeah, hey, we'll be back soon enough, man. There's one thing for sure, we'll always, we're always coming back, so won't be too long, man, won't be too long, but, um, but yeah, no, it's good to get out there and get, get amongst it again, and, and um, you know, trying to fire up the engines a little bit before we head off to the States in, uh, at the end of or August. August, cool, we'll, we'll get on to that one a little later, because... We've got to talk about his current tour first. The rich, it's sure. a decent run of shows, man. Like, how do you prepare mentally and physically for something like that? You know, like you guys put a lot, out, a lot on stage out there. Uh, well, you know, we, we, obviously we do a little bit of rehearsing and stuff like that. But I think, you know, just just think because we've been doing it for such a long time, you know, we kind of it's it's like it's just like jumping on the bike again. It's um, we often find. You know that once we get back into the rehearsal room, like after we run run the set a few times, that we're kind of back into that mode. Me personally, though, I've been you know I've been really trying lately to um, get back into the fitness stuff and just doing a bit of running and stuff. I usually like to try and run ten k's every couple of days, and I find that's like goes for about as long as what the gig would go for. You know, it's like about an hour running for about an hour. So I feel like if I can run for an hour. I can do a gig, you know. <laughs> you guys look about as about as fit and physical as I do, though, bro. Like, and I get exhausted sitting in the crowd watching you. Like, you do pretty well. Well, I, look, I've probably let myself go a little bit over the COVID stuff, and now I'm trying to trying to rein it in a little bit. And uh, and uh, you know, I shaved my head again, so I was like, and that lost about ten kilos. That did well. <laughs> Someone said that, you know, like with the beard and the long hair, you know, and then when you, you know, like you shave it off, you kind of look, you look like you're about 10 years younger. So I was like, oh, well, I'll run with that then. Um, so that's that's another bonus. I need all the help I can get now at this point in life. Um, well, if you shave your ass and walk backwards, it takes another 10 years off you too. All right, I'm just going to write, just and jot that down and uh, <laughs> we'll, give that a, we'll give that a try next week. Um, but yeah, no, man, I've just been trying to get fit, you know. That's been my main thing, just trying to get fit again. We've got a lot of shows coming up, so it's going to be, I want, it, you know, it's uh, it's exciting and there's lots of stuff going on, so we've got to, uh, we've got to get ready. Get match fit, brother. And you That's it. Taking Chook with you for all but one of the shows, man. They got, they played with you a number of times. So what is it about them that makes them good touring partners for King Parrot? Uh, oh, man, they're just like our little bros, you know. We love them. They're, they're like we love the way they go about it. We love their attitude. They're great dudes. They're good mates now. Um, you know, we they're just one of those. They just got a similar approach to to what they do as what we do. You know, and and um, 
you know, we, we we always play with a lot of different bands. You know, we've always played with lots of different bands, not necessarily just grind bands or metal bands or or, or, or whatnot. But when you kind of you know have that um, camaraderie with the with the band, like and young dudes that are you know um, you know I think with King Parrot we're kind of like one of those bands that we're not we, we're paying homage to the stuff that we love in our own way, you know? So it's, it's not, it's not, you know, we're not, we're just doing what we do, you know, we're not trying to be this or that or go, we're doing what we do and whatever comes of it will be what it is. You know, we're not going to sit there and go, Oh, well, we need to kind of change our sound to be a little bit more of like acceptable or top 40 or, or whatever. Like, I you know, I mean, we're going to do that. We're not that sort of band when, like, this is what we do and we're just going to get better at doing what we do. Mm-hmm. Sure for the same. They're, they're yeah. like the same kind of band, you know. Like they, 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 they just want to hone their craft in this style and get better at what they do. And that's 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 what we appreciate, you know. We, we can recognise that and see it and understand that that's a thing and that's what we want to do. So... It's great. It's fucking. It's cool when you've got a band like that that just is, there's no compromise with the sound or the approach. You know, that's that's always what King Parrots really held close to our hearts. There's no compromise. This is what we do. This is how we're gonna fucking do it, and we're just gonna get better at. It. Yeah, I noticed you got uh, Nicholas Cage fighter on for a few shows too. Like, how good are those fuckers? Oh, good man. Yeah, we've yeah. been playing with them. We've been playing with them for a long time now. Like for at least. Maybe four or five years we've been doing some shows with them, and we've got a bit of a history with those guys because um, years ago, uh, Matt, the drummer, um, came and rehearsed with us and was actually considering joining the band at one point. Um, he had he did a couple of rehearsals, and uh, and he was great, man. He's such a good drummer, that guy. And he came. We were about to go do some touring and I think it was maybe just a bit much for him at that point <laughs> in that time okay. and uh you know but <clears throat> he's, he's a great guy man I, I don't know I've got a lot of respect for him and uh he's also a Carlton supporter so we often have um <laughs> I'll take those two days off the list so I won't be coming uh <laughs> I also uh, have a lot of uh we, we had a little bit of football banter from time to time but he's um he's a great guy great Actually, man told me that next time I interview him I'm gonna hang up on him <laughs> nah, hey, they're, they're a great band, man. They are. Best, and, name, best band name in Australia, too, I reckon. It's a fun yeah. Band. yeah, I always, I keep, I still misspell it, but um, because uh, I, you know, they, they spell Nicholas sort of weird, but. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, they're fucking awesome, man. They're great. I'm really happy for them and and what they're doing with their band at the moment. You know, it's great. It's really good to see. Yeah, and you've also got an all ages show in Frankston on July the night, mate. Like you don't see many of those these days. No, but it's great that um, Singing Bird Studios can do that sort of stuff now, and 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 uh, we've been going down there doing those sort of shows. Oh, we try and you know do it once a year or whatever if we can, and um, they uh, they're great. You know, it's, it's, we love going down there. They've been you know long long time friends of, of ours and. Um, you know, it's 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 great. There's such a healthy scene at the moment in Australia with every like everyone kind of working together now after COVID to try and make it great. And it's really it's really awesome to see. And you know, you know, great people like yourself and um, you know, just pulling together to make shit good again and make shit better and sustainable. You know, which is which is the most important thing. And it's about time too, man. Like, I pretty much know the answer to this one already. I just want to see what context you put it in. But if you tone down your shows at all when you play these all ages gigs? Are you frozen? I thought you were frozen, man. I mean, fucking... I was trying to tell and I was just... You were, you were, you know... Awesome, mate. Are you joking? <laughs> you, know the, you know the answer. I do, but all it, like... Not at all though, like no, you don't put your pants up a bit higher or anything, or you fucking... <laughs> oh man, we, I mean, our, our shows are just spontaneous, man. We don't really plan anything or, or, or just whatever happens, happens kind of thing. And we, I just kind of find when we do the all ages shows, it's just a little bit more fun. Yeah. You know? It's a little bit less like, I don't know. 
It's, just, it's a little bit less. Uh, it just it just happens, you know. It just happens. There's kids jumping up on stage and wanting to stage dive for the first time and things like that. So it's it's super cool and fun, and you just try and and because they're so little, they just go flying through the air. It's so cool, man. It's so fun, and uh, but you know, you just find that it, it just takes care of itself. You know, we don't we don't think about it too much. You know, obviously if we're playing it, you know, some you know, club or, or, or whatever, and it's jam-packed full of, you know, 20, 30, 40-year-old men and women or whatever, it's going to be a whole different thing, you know, and they're all drunk and carrying on like idiots, so things are going to get loose, but, you know, when there's, like, 10-year-old kids and, you know, yeah, kids, you know teenagers and all of that, it's just, it's just a bit of a different vibe, so it takes care of itself, you know, like, we don't have to think about that stuff too much, we just do what we do, and there's an ex- expectation of what a King Power show is going to be, and I think it always is that, you know, but, um, yeah, so. Do you, do you still throw water bottles at them? Like, do you throw water bottles at the 10-year-olds? Oh, yeah. Fuck them. <laughs> it's only a bit of plastic. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the real world, motherfucker. Yeah, 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 yeah. I just, yeah, you know, it's all a bit of fun, you know. Of course, this show is just an appetizer for what will be King Parrot's biggest and best shows yet, mate. When you travel to the States to play five shows with a little up and coming band called Panchera, as well yeah. as that. Oh, mate, like, that's fucking awesome, but it sounds even better when you say it out loud. Like, how do you feel? Yeah, it's uh, it's pretty surreal, man. Like, I, I never thought that that would be a possibility that we would get to play with Pantera. I mean, you know, we've probably been with House Paul Records with Phil's label for about eight or nine years. Well, we've been involved with them for, you know, nearly 10 years or in some capacity. And, um, you know, we just became friends over the years. And, and obviously when this started, there was talk of this and it was, it, it's kind of been going on for a little bit, you know, because they've been playing the Pantera songs with the Illegals and doing all that stuff. They did that last Slayer tour with the illegals and they you know they came and did like all the shows out here that we did with them you know they did oh well yeah when they played they did a show at frankie's um in sydney which was ridiculous and um they did a whole pantera set there that's all they did it was like eight or nine songs which was incredible um and you know it just started to get momentum from there when they when they were first coming out to Australia to do that tour with us. It was just like fill in the illegals and King Parrot and Palm and uh, Potion played as well. And it was, the impression was that it was just going to be the illegals playing all their death metal sort of grind stuff. And, you know, that goes really well together with King Parrot, you know. Um, but then it kind of, as it went on, they, the illegals started playing more Pantera stuff and then it sort of, changed into like oh it's just it's Phil and the illegals they're going to play a couple of illegal songs and then most of the <laughs> and stuff and it just got just got traction man and you know for someone like Phil who's done it all his life you know it's like far out man it's 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 been you know like 20 odd years or something since they played with Pantera and I kind of liken it to like you know, if you did an apprenticeship or something like that, if you're a, a plumber or something like that, and you had a business with someone and you guys made it this huge, incredible business and it was successful and all of that, and then it was just gone. And you could never do it again, you know? And there's a lot of haters towards the whole Pantera thing and all that. So like, it, it is what it is, man. I think these guys deserve to pay respects to what they're doing and to the brothers and, and, and and do it and give this whole generation of people the opportunity to see oh, Pantera God. again. And I think once, you know, when you see some of the video footage and stuff, it feels like now like they've just been playing in Europe that they're really getting it together. It sounds incredible. And um, I think by the time it gets around to America, it's going to be like something something else, you know? Yeah. you got to be the inside guys, mate. Is there, what's the chances of coming to Australia? Oh, look, it's going to happen. I've got no doubt. I don't know when or, or, or in what capacity, but it, of course it's going to happen. I know your lying face now, mate. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, honestly, I don't know anything about times or whatever. I mean, it, it would make sense oh, that yeah. they would probably either do their own Good stadium stuff. Like, like they, they would play, like, you know, some stadium shows or they'll do, like, maybe download or something. I don't know. But 
I'm not sure. I don't know. Or not this or whatever they're doing. Like, but in all honesty, I have no idea. Maybe they'd come out and support you in your home country, mate. That'd be bad. Yeah, we'll put them on at the toad or something, hey? <laughs> <laughs> I know you speak to Phil a fair bit, mate. Like, so now they've gone out and played a few shows and they've been successful. Like, have the haters stopped at all? Like, now they see how good it is, or is it still still going? Oh, uh, I think it's going to I think it's 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 good to have haters, right? Yeah, mate, I can, I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite, I'm quite. I mean, I can only just go by the, I can only go by some of the stuff that you see online from time to time, and people are just like still doing it. So it's, um, but you know, like it's, it's, it's just, it is always going to be haters, you know. It's just, it is what it is. But one of the good things I like is that they're just letting the, the music do the talking, and the, you know, there's that, like obviously now is a different time to. 20 years ago so there's so much video footage and there's so many people putting stuff online now and you can just see that they're killing it it's like they're just doing such a great job of it so you know for a little little old band like king parrot to get the opportunity to go and play some some stadium shows with a band like pantera who obviously an influence on us and and on a whole generation of metalheads you know from when we were youngsters you know i mean because there was nothing quite like when pantera came out when when we were all kids you know and it was incredible it was like it changed my life completely it changed the trajectory of my life completely going to see pantera at festival hall when i was like 14 was incredible one of the most incredible experiences ever you know you got the party on driven show yeah yeah it was, yeah, it was, the energy was insane, was insane. Yeah, yes. Yeah. Everyone was so excited and pumped, and yeah. But look at look at the poster here now, mate. Like, how fucking good does it look to see the King Parrot logo underneath Fancy Era and Lambert, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm aroused. Yeah. So is Carl. I need to get my sperm. It's cool. It's really cool, man. Like we're we're honoured, you know, and okay. hopefully there's more, and hopefully it's, it all goes well, and yeah, it'll be good. So have you had time amongst all that shit to, to do a new album? No, not really. Yeah, you, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> nah, we've, we're working on it. You know, we're just chipping away at it. You know, we've uh, we've had a bit going on lately, so we've, 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 we've it's not like we're not working on it. We are working on it, but it's just um, we're just taking our time and just getting it done. And we're going to spend probably the rest of the year on the road. So. Yeah. To come back, come back with some fresh ideas for new music, mate. That's the way to do it. Yeah, we'll, we'll 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 get cracking on it as soon as we can. You know, it's like it's it's there's definitely demos and there's definitely bits and pieces going on, but um, yeah, it's uh it's just been a bit challenging to, to find the time right at this moment. So yeah. Yeah, cool. Well, turn to something a little sad, mate. Like um, I might have mentioned it out of respect to the guy, but commiserations for the loss of Boyd recently, man. Like, must have been hard to take. Yeah, it has been, man. Yeah, Boyd, Boyd uh, sent it. It was, um, you know, a super, like he was, you know, one of my very closest friends and, um, you know, a big collaborator with uh, King Parrot. He uh, he did the artwork for our first EP and uh, everything, every other cover um, that we did, apart from the bite your head off one, he did everything else, but like, you know, countless, merch designs and poster designs and you know he collaborated on all the videos with us every single one of them uh he was in quite a few of them he was in shit on the liver he was the parking guy in shit on the liver and you know that's um you know one of those things it's it's been a shocking few weeks months um uh, trying to you know process going on creatively because he was such a big part of everything that we've done to this point um to be able to sort of move ahead with plans and everything you know um it's just been yeah really tough to try and get my head around that uh recently um you know like before he passed you know he was planning on you know coming down here and we're going to go through all the demos and all the new songs that we've got and start you know, demo and vocals and, you know, like just little things like that, you know, if we needed a tool poster and, uh, hey, what are you doing? Can you knock up a tool poster and you, you do it in no time, you know? I'd have it that afternoon. Um, you know, things like that, man, it's just, it's just shocking. And, and, and on top of all that, I mean, he was, yeah, like I said, one of my very closest friends. So, um, 
Yeah, it's been a really sad time for uh, for all of us in the band, but also all of his friends and family as well. And um, we had a, a send off for him this week, and and it was um, it was incredible. It was um, it was like a and it was the, the place we had it. There must have been you know there would have been well over five hundred people there, and um, you know it was like an art exhibition. And all his art was all over the place. Like there must have been at least fifty works of his all over the place and, and um, our, uh, the guy who does all the King Parrot videos, Dan Farmer, put together some amazing video tributes as well and you know it was, we tried to, we tried to make the best of a really shit situation, you know, and um, you know we're all still grieving a bit, I am definitely, um, but uh, yeah man, uh, it's a huge loss and, and um, he had a massive impact on all of us, so I guess, you know, to try and put a positive on that is that um you know we get we're gonna everything we do now we can do it in his honor you know and 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 pay respects to him and and you know do it in in his his memory and, and he was such said such a great sense of humor and such a great uh <laughs> just he, just the way that he looked at the world you know the way that he he did stuff was incredible and um and, and he's so prolific so yeah, it's, it's a big loss for us, yeah. Yeah, I'm sure it is, bro. Well, on, on behalf of the whole Australian metal scene, mate, I'm sure they're all sending you their love for that, as well as congratulations on the Pantera show, mate. So go forth and kick ass and do Australia proud, my friend. Oh, we will, man. We will. We, we're ready to fucking... We're ready to hit the road again and go back to the States. It's been like four years or something, so since we've been over there, so it's like it's it's, it's time now. And, um you know, we're going to do, yeah, we'll do those five shows with Pantera, but we're also playing, do we're doing a week of shows, I think, with Weed Eater too. We're just negotiating that at the moment. And But all in all, we're going to do like 34 shows, I think. Oh, wow. So, oh, like yeah, we're doing it like, I think it's two days off. I think we're doing it in like five weeks. So we're just going to go for it. Okay. Well, if you go through Nebraska, mate, I've got a few people there that owe me a couple of dinners, so let me know and I'll, I'll put you under it. Man, we've had some great shows in Omaha, like in in Nebraska. It's been it's it's great. We've actually, we've done it a few times. I'm not sure if it's actually on the on the schedule, but um. Well, if it is, and you need support, man, let me know, bro. Like, they kick ass with you, I reckon. So yeah, you're right. Um, and show you a bit of their own hometown hospitality. I love it, man. I love it. Thanks so much. No worries, all right. I'll catch up with you next week at some stage, man. Thanks for the chat and enjoy everything you're doing. There's so much, man. Good on you. Thanks, brother. Take care out there on the road, hey. I will do. Go bombers. Yeah, right there. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> Peace out, man. Awesome. Great. Thank you. No worries, mate. I'll go and get this done up. Boy.